So basically, um, all my bills are going to go to the credit card as long as I set up all my the bills that I can bill or that I can pay with the credit card. I will do it. The date that comes in doesn't matter as long as I pay the credit card by the the second and the, and I start using it again after the fifth. Correct. So the because the credit card is going to pay everything that's come. It's going to be billed to the credit card regardless if it's on the first or the third or whatever. I'm always going to pay that one credit card on that certain date and then it just captures everything right all the bills okay right so all the, yeah yeah so all the bills as long as you set it up after the fifth right meaning you never really swipe the card between mm -hmm. between the second of the month and the fifth right literally you're setting up all your bills between the sixth of the month all the way to like right before the due date the first okay right so right now we're we're in that cycle where april's cycle is done right because april 2nd already passed it's april 21st mm -hmm. and the closing date already occurred so between now yeah between now and may 2nd if we can call all the different institutions and all the different places that you spend money that have consistent due dates we can call them all up and set them all up after the fifth of every month then for the cycle of may you're going to be and before like, the first right? yeah you're going to be on a good track right you'll be like okay now okay. i start to see it right okay so call the bills and make sure anything that is not uh i mean i guess i would set the bills after the fifth but before the first right any, any bills go. that i have there you go between the sixth and the first mm -hmm. that is your window between the, okay. any month that is the sixth day or the first day of any month is exactly. where you should have your May the sixth all the way to June the first. April May. Okay, yeah. May to June. Like May the sixth through June the first. There you go. Okay. An example, you know. Okay, perfect. It's a big, Understood. It's a big gap, right? So there's plenty yeah. of opportunity there. Now, some people will try okay. to close the gap, try to try to just cram everything so it's easy. Mm -hmm. That's cool. And then people get even more savvy where they're like, okay, I'll just make sure that every time I fill my gas tank, I'll make sure I do it after the fifth, before the first, mm -hmm. before the second, you know? Same thing with food shopping, same thing with house bathroom products, miscellaneous entertainment, going out. I'll make sure it's always after the sixth, before the due date this way i'm maximizing every single transaction giving me the most amount of time on zero interest clear okay got it perfect thank you mm -hmm.